The Jesus you may not know. Is he praying for us, or are we praying to him? Jesus is praying for your sufficiency. John chapter 17 verse 13, Jesus said, I am coming to you now, but I say these things while I am still in the world, so that they may have the full measure of my joy within them. Jesus prayed that the joy he has might be fulfilled in us, not just joy, but fulfilled joy. Joy that is overrunning, abundant, and sufficient. He's not talking about happiness, that depends on the happenings. He's talking about joy that depends on him. Jesus's joy is the answer to the Hebrew greeting, Shalom. Jesus is praying for your maturity. John chapter 17 verse 17, Jesus said, Sanctify them by the truth, your word is truth. Being sanctified means, to be made holy. In heaven, Jesus is praying that we will be good, holy people. He's praying for our sanctification. He's praying that when we open our Bible, we don't just learn more of the Bible, but it gets into our lives, and changes who we are. Jesus is praying that when we read the Word of God, it won't just pass through one ear and out the other. He prays that the words will find residence in our hearts, and we will listen to the words, and those words will change us. Jesus is praying for your ministry. John chapter 17 verse 18, Jesus said, As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. Jesus was the first missionary to the world. God sent Jesus to earth to seek and save the lost, and to pay the penalty for their sins on the cross. Whenever we go out to do the ministry God has given us, we can be assured that Jesus is praying for us. Whatever you are doing in the ministry God has given you to do, Jesus is praying for you that your ministry brings fruit to the kingdom.